Out, guns out, right? No. Welcome to the show. We've got some stuff to talk about. I just did one of these and was telling you about, you know, the variants and the this and the that on AliExpress and stuff, but they have a summer sale going on right now. So, there's two things I want to talk about. The dark, well, you guys know me. There's way more than two things. There's at least three for sure. The Dark Wolf Ultra, the Lingle, and then this uh, DMX Rod. There's a new to us, to me anyway. Have you guys heard about, you heard me talking about the DMX rod that is only like 38 bucks. Well, that was the cheaper one, the street bass, and it's like a three piece rod. Well, right now during the sale, hopefully you guys can make this out. The uh, Pista, which is a two piece, and if you guys can make out the material that's made out of, like a better blank material. So up here are all the different uh, ways you can get this rod. So instead of a $38 three piece, still a good rod. I still recommend that rod. I sold mine to Charles. That one's out. The 1.98, I can't find it anywhere for that price. But these pistas seem to be around uh, on a few different sites. And here's just one that I looked up. Uh, and I'm, I'm thinking about buying this one right here. 1.98 uh, with the Fuji. Now you can get the 1.98 uh, this cork with uh, you know the cheaper guides let me get this scroll list down here for you hopefully you can make it out so that is as cheap as that but then if you even want the cheapest one and you don't like cork you like rather have EVA uh, it's as cheap as $38 now these prices may not be right because they got this new user bonus thing so that's actually cheaper but if you've never really been on AliExpress you definitely could save a bargain right now I want to say this rod is going to cost me $48 when I'm looking at it on my phone. But I'm going to probably go with the one that's got the better guides and it, I'm pretty sure it's still cork. This, although this is the only one that says it's cork. I'm pretty sure this one is. It's cork with the Fuji uh, Alkanite. Those are Alkanite. Now, for some reason, these ones with the A, they're like only shipping to Spain or I don't know. There's something I tried to click on one of those and it says it can't like ship to me. But anyway, let's scroll and look at these rods real quick, because if you remember the street bass, which there's one right over here, those are awesome rods, and they, I think they have the exact same uh, reel seat, is why I originally looked at these, and these were very expensive compared to the street bass, so I just decided, no, I won't mess with those. I got the street bass to try out, because it's so cheap. And these were, I want to say these were like up and around that $100 range. Well, does it show the original price? Yeah, 194. They were like 100, 120 or something. You know, everything on AliExpress shows a crazy high price, and then they, they've never really sold for that high. So anyway, I'll try to slow you down when I get to it, just on kind of some of the stuff that you need to be watching out for. So there's some of the specs, but you know, go to AliExpress. You can look at all this. Take your time and look. I'm not. I'm just kind of showing you what is out there during the sale and how cheap you can get some of this stuff. So for those of you that do watch the channel, Bass and Bonsai, but you're like, I don't go, I don't mess with AliExpress, Charlie. I, like, I believe in the BFS and finesse fishing, but I just don't mess with AliExpress. I'm telling you, there's a lot of good stuff on AliExpress. So you can see by this pick, the, so it's got that winding going all the way up. Now, I don't think this is good as like the uh, contest filling quick and all them. I don't think it's that good of material. But for a 40 some dollar rod, if it's close, and so I've been debating, I was about ready to... Uh, push the button on um, because they're kind of cheap but they're not real cheap for like $125 I can get the uh, sharp and the powerful 125 each so I was about ready to buy those but then I was looking at these and I'm honestly thinking about buying the 1.98 and the 2.10 because it is a little bit more powerful rod and just ordering two of those because I'd only have like under a hundred dollars under the price of just one of the other rods and if these are anything like the street bass but a little better quality man it would be hard to beat uh, these rods for the price I'm telling you right now the street bass is a yeah see that now I'm taking it the DMX and the OBs or whatever are basically the same brand but some of them are under that name and then a lot of them are under the DMX name so I guess it's the same company, I would assume. And I kind of like the way you can ask Charles that 
that's not a huge handle, but it is cork, and it just that actually feels pretty good. And that is a, like a soft touch on the end, and you can you can use that just like you would a cork or EVA end to grab hold and do like a double-handed cast and all that kind of stuff. And on the end of those, if some of you guys are like me and you'd want to balance it, that is like a little plastic cap. This is like a, either graphite or whatever, but that's like a little rubbery, plasticky cap thing that will pop off, and so I know you can add weight fairly easy if you wanted to balance this rod. So I'm, the more I'm looking at, yeah, see how he's got his hand right there? I told you. But anyway, yeah, I like these rods. I think this rod, and I haven't held this one, particular one in my hand, but the DMX, it surprised me. Uh, just on how well this $38 rod felt, and these were originally a lot more it's it's uh, pretty sure it's an identical real seat it's just got a you know different blank on these pistons so i think i am going to order so they come you see there they you can get them uh spinning or casting eva or cork and then you can also get the more expensive upgraded with uh like the fuji alkanite guides but it's, it's only like a few dollars more like if you're going to get it you might as well just get the the Fuji one, in my opinion. I mean, why not? Why mess around, right? So I think. Yeah, the spin. I, I want to. I'm looking at that spinning rod and I'm almost. Wondering that material looks a little different. Hopefully they don't change the whole material just on the other ones. So anyway, yeah, that rod, I think I'm going to order one at least. I may, I may just go ahead and get two. I haven't totally decided yet. So real quick, before I forget about it, I know some of you were interested because in, in the last video I talked about it, but this uh, reel I've sold to Charles. Sorry, I had somebody trying to trade me another reel. I've had a couple guys asking about it. I, I messaged Charles. He hadn't. He mentioned something about uh, we were fishing yesterday, but he never really said. So I took it. He didn't want it. But then so I messaged him. I said, let me know. He said, yeah, I want it. So I'm selling that to Charles. It's bye-bye. Silver Creek. I'll be honest, guys, they're awesome reels, but I can't make myself like the new Alpha's frame. I still like the older Alpha's frame better. I don't know why. I don't like this reel better. I do like the Silver Creek way better than this reel, but the overall old-style Alpha's, I think, uh, like I've got, I don't have it on me on hand right now, but the, uh, oh, you guys know the one I'm talking about, Airstream Custom. I like that one way better than the Silver Creek for whatever reason. I do like the clicker on the, uh, let's just scroll down. I think I do like the clicker probably as well as any of them I've ever heard on the Silver Creek. I just, uh, I think it's that narrow spool. The, if I, I was trying to remember the name of it, the, cl the clamber that's here on AliExpress, the uh, Air, uh, Alpha's Air TW, this Silver Creek, any of those with that narrow spool, I just can't make myself like those reels. So I'm, I'm, I'm going to give up trying to make myself like them. So the Pista 2 section, uh, just search and look for it. And let's go to the Dark Wolf Ultra. Now here's an issue with the Dark Wolf Ultra. I've went through about two or three of these different ones in my cart, and they would just be gone so when you try to find like this one let's click on it it's probably going to show it sold out i think they're doing that yeah see that so if you're right-handed now if you're left-handed it won't matter so i'm just going to try to click show you guys how cheap you can get this now on my end when i was looking when i clicked these on my phone and i'm going to tell you the price i paid for one of these i found there was one right-handed that showed 67 when i clicked on it so I just bought it real quick by itself before it got sold out, before I bought my other stuff. So I bought one of these for $61.75 shipped to me. It's on the way. It's bought. I couldn't find that deal anymore. Like, it's gone now. But 
I did find that if I go and so I suggest you guys do this on it could be anything on Aliexpress dirt especially during these sales because the other one I do have in my cart because I really needed more than one but there's only showing one available so I clicked on one of these and I put this thing in my cart and when I clicked on the buy it now on my phone it uh it shows $65 so I can get another one for $65 so I suggest if you guys are thinking like oh I, I want they're still they're worth that trust me but right now the sales going on the dark wolf ultra now I have still heard uh, I can't even think of his uh, it's a youtuber he's commented you go back and look on the this last video and you'll he see his comment talking about how he checked it on his channel that they supposedly what we're thinking is anyway that you know you guys know about the magnet fix for the dark wolf ultra so I think the thought is that their idea of the fix was to just take the brakes and I'm guessing they maybe have them sticking out as far as they'll go but they're like fixed now and it doesn't really show and I'm trying to think did it show before I thought it showed that before Because if you look here, it does not really show anything to do with what kind of uh, magnetic braking. Did you guys notice that? And I'm pretty sure it did before, but maybe it didn't. I can't remember. But anyway, I got one coming. I may just hold off because th they'll be on sale this winter. You guys know the deal. AliExpress has a summer sale, a winter sale, a spring sale, a hey, we're AliExpress sale. Uh, fishing sale, uh, dark sale, light sale, right? AliExpress has a lot of sales, trust me. But right now is the time that's just cheapest I've ever seen it before. I picked, like I said, I got one coming for $61. Charles bought one two weeks ago. It still works just like the one I have right now. But the word is, out on the streets, word on the streets is that the uh, little springs that let the little end pieces on the end I guess I could show you one of my reels hold on don't go anywhere I still got to talk about the wing long and the lean ball where's my reel I don't remember which one I got it on right at the moment okay so just to clarify for there's somebody I'm sure out there in uh, YouTube land is just now jumping onto this video going what is this goofball talking about I don't know my mama don't know what I'm talking about Okay, here's what I'm talking about. Right here. So, the word out on the streets. The streets is uh, YouTube. Is that there's little springs in here. Okay. And they keep this thing. If you guys can see that going up and down. Now, see, mine works. Now, we checked Charles's. He just got it two weeks ago. His works. The fix you have to do to these, you have to buy these little bitty, oh boy, I'm already losing my mind. I want to say, is it 4.5 uh, by 5, oh, sorry, I'm a moron, 0. 0.5 by 5 millimeter little magnets. I'm trying to get it to focus. You order those, and people keep asking me for a link. I bought like a, I just searched long enough and found like a hundred of them because I knew I'd probably be getting more reels. So I don't have the actual link, but the, the neodyne magnets is what they're called. So in order to get the brakes enough, like you've heard the real test talk about, you do have to add those. And you add them to up here where it moves. You put one, two, three. This back one, I tried putting one on both sides of the back one that doesn't move, and it would rub. But if you put the three on there... And you would think it would be the opposite way. The one that comes up and down would be the one that might rub. So you you leave the very back one off. This side, see how this don't move? That's where the pin is, right up here. And if you really look, I won't be able to pick it up on the camera. There, you can actually see the spring inside. But the spring keeps that thing down. And just somehow, when you cast a, that aluminum, you know, the metal spinning around on the outside, wants to pull that out. And so how close it is, how far in and out this is, is where your brake adjustment is, moves this in and out. So how much of the magnetic you know, force is going on in there works the braking, right? So what 
I think, and I guess the other YouTuber and the subscriber that has one, there's supposedly a fix. You can get the springs for the Corrado will fit in there, so you can order springs like through Shimano for the Scorpion or Corrado. But I don't even know what that costs. But if if I order one and it needs springs and it needs magnets, it honestly is not going to be worth it to me. I'll probably try to send it back and be like, well, the Lingo, the Dark Wolf Alter, they're all gone, right? Uh, our only hope may be the Black Knight 2s if they've left them alone. But so far, I can't tell you that there's any issues with the springs because I haven't seen it personally. I do have one coming. We will find out in about a month, right? AliExpress. Could be a couple weeks, but possibly a month. So, double, just showing you guys one a few more times, but that's how you check it. Say if you got one. Now, what, the, what they're saying they've done, to, what they, I think they may have tried to do, is just fix that all the way up and just left it there to where as soon as you start casting, it's already like fully braked to where then when you adjust this in and out, uh, just my thoughts and maybe what they, they've heard the rumors that people are having to buy magnets. What they should do is before they put their magnets in or just buy a thicker magnet, you know, but I don't know what their cost would be on that. And, uh, just do what we did because these reels once you add that and the real test i think is going to be doing that and you'll see him do a little shootout this reel will smoke all those reels that he have had put it up against i assure you of that the dark wolf ultra is no joke when it comes to casting the only reels i've seen come close are the for the, like the trout magnet or if you watch my video with the half a gram bait the airstream custom and the alphas air variants are Legit, very light casters, but so is this reel. I would not think that the... I haven't tried the new Shimano. I don't know if I'm going to get it or not. But definitely my old Aldebaran, the old uh, Aldebaran 16 BFS, the Conquest BFS, none of those could actually hold a candle to this reel either. And or the uh, Airstream Custom or the Silver Creek for that matter that I sold to Charles when it comes to casting real light, like 1 gram, one point. Kind of what the real test, like a 1.5 gram. I did several different tests. and But anyway, once you put the magnets in, this reel and the Black Knight 2 are definitely legit. And I got it on the Tech 661. If, I don't know if I'll leave it or not. I really wanted two more. My plan was, here I'll tell you my plan. I'm selling that to Charles. I'm going to put uh, the Dark Wolf Ultras on the Tetan 661. And I need one more because I got one coming. I'm going to get one more. I'm going to put those on my Lure Star streamer rods. Then that'll free up my Corrado. I'm actually going to run on one of the uh, contest rods, right? The, either the, uh, uh, probably not the filling. The filling and the quick I got now. May, may leave it on the quick. I've had it on the quick off and on because then I've got the sharp coming. And there's a possibility I may get a deep lingo for that. So let's look that up real quick. Let's just jump back over here. So, I told you guys, I wasn't really lying because I couldn't find it. And it was gone on mine. The one that I had mine, I could not find it anywhere on my phone or on this computer. But today, once I started looking around, it just popped up. So let's see if I can find it on this computer. Jesus, I can't even work the I, I took speech and typing. I'm telling I took it. Oh. Jesus. Oh boy, don't look at Ling Long. Oh, look out. Sorry, man. Let's get out of here. It is still not going to let me find that. Hang on. Let's try a different search. I got the phone right in front of my keyboard and my hands and all that. I think it has, I think they call it bait casting separate. Let's just see what this brings. So there's the Black Knight 2, Cast King Zephyr. Now see on my phone it brought it right up. Let's see, we're going to have to do this. 
And now, if I do get the DMX rod, I need to track down that little green rod because I already deleted it off my, uh, let's just click on the Black Knight 2 while we're looking at it. I haven't really seen, these are a little bit on sale, but I think they're a little bit higher and they just have sharp red. You just got to know the deal. I thought I liked these better at first and then I, I've since then, once I have them both in hand, I like the Dark Wolf Alter better. Just sheer palmability, uh, quieter casting. I haven't really noticed that the, the spool's a, just the slightest touch lighter. I don't, couldn't really tell you that it casts any better. If anything, I'm, Black Knight 2 might actually even cast better because it's got the ceramic bearings that free it up a little more. Okay, there's the... Oh, that one's $32. We want a $21 one. There's a DMX Street Bass. Got street cred if you own that rod. Now come on. Let me. Oh boy. Oh, there's a Solo King Acura. Remember that one I talked about? I wish that had the actual breaking. I wish that was the Dark Wolf Altar of silver, but they've got the Black Knight 2 framing and a whole different brake system. So, man, they were so close. So close. So, oh, so close. Missed it by that much. All right, come on. I know this Ling Long's on here. I'm looking at it. It's on my phone in the things under, uh, I had it in the cart. They're $99, though. They're not on sale. They just already go and raise the price on this. Those were $21 everywhere. Then the sale pops up. Oh, they're 32 that is not a sale when you raise the price. It's impossible to call it a sale. Well, boys and girls, I cannot find the Ling Long now, but it did pop back up. Now this pure lure right here, that's the MK9. Let's click on it and it may bring up a Ling Long. That's one you've seen Charles, he's struggling with it right now. He just needs to turn the brakes up, plain and simple. Oh yeah, Charles, I forgot to mention. I sold Charles that reel, and I still have yet to take him down. I've got the deep spool for it right here with the line still on it. Charles has the more like the BFS spool, but it does have a... It's still not like real deep, but it is it is plenty deep enough for if you use braid. Like if you want to put fluorocarbon or whatever regular line, that's a good spool. But anyway, Charles, got the spool right here. Don't worry, I'll give it to you, buddy. Charles still owes me money for the Silver Creek, so... Yeah, but anyway... This is a, an example I'll show you real quick. That is a lingual variant, MK9. It different brake system, magnetic braking system, but uh, and it's an 8 to 1 gear ratio, but almost all the su stuff will interchange. You could put, take, slide that spool in, the lingual and the side plate, and it'll work there. But then you also have this one, and that's called Pure Lure. But then this one from Pure Lure, that is actually... Uh, Cast King Zephyr framed reel. See that? So that's got the carbon fiber here, just the shape of it. That, it looks like the same color as MK9. It's a Q13. It's actually a uh, Cast King Zephyr. Not, they're not really variants. They're just, they use the same frame, different companies. And there's another one right there. And this one looks pretty cool. Uh, and it's not real high. I at one point in time was going to buy that just because I'm kind of partial to that from the PW100 with the purple spool, but nah, I talked myself out of it. Yeah, don't worry, I talked myself out of it. Okay, let's scroll down this thing. I'm still looking for... Oh boy, come on, load up. i try to find it. Seller recommendations. I may have to click on my phone. I'm just bound to turn to show you guys that the lingual is back on. It's called the Ling Long. And then this stupid reel keeps showing up for that price now. It was $21 yesterday, right before the sale started. Because I may buy one of those. if it, I, I will if I get that. DMX rod because the colors, the greens do go together fairly decent. Alright, anyway. 
There's an Akuma 250. Get out of here. Let's just click on this stupid thing. Actually, I, th I think I like the looks of it. I, I think it may be cheapened up a little bit. In order, look at that. They took a pic, and that is on Twitter. Look at that. That ain't even on straight. Can you guys make that out? I just now noticed that. I've been looking at that picture for like a week now. Off and on. Cast control cap is not on straight. Oh, yeah, don't worry. I'm sure they got awesome uh, quality control guys. Don't worry about it. For 20 bucks, who really cares as long as it works? But now that's cool. I mean, I the one I had in hand that I held, everything seemed fine. I don't, is it as great mm, as a Casking's effort? Maybe not, but it's only like a, I don't know, a third of the price. It looks very, very much the same. Um, honestly, may have a better thumb bar looking thing than the Casking's effort. But we're not even worried about that one now. I'm trying to find the Ling Long. Jeez. And there's tons of uh, BFS reels on AliExpress as far as just different variants, different cheapies, and all kinds of stuff. And Charles was also talking about that. I don't know if you guys know or not. Wait a minute. What's Joseph trying to tell me here? Yeah, let me look it up. He says it's Shin He, which I, I've got it on my phone, but I'm talking to you guys through my phone now. So, because I don't think they call it Shin He. I think he said Shin He. Nope. That ain't it. Yeah, you gotta watch. You get to type in the wrong stuff. Trust me, AliExpress, they sell everything, boys and girls, so watch out. There is no... That's a wild looking reel. I don't, it's spinning reel. You're not gonna see me using it. Oh, that one looks cool. No, I'm not getting a spinning reel. Related products. Hmm. Dude, I have no idea. Anyway, at the end of this video, I will link the freaking one if it's still on my phone and doesn't, you know, shows that it's available. I'll put the link in the description just so you guys can. If you're interested in buying one for $99. Okay, hang on a second. What is Joseph trying to tell me here? The Kingdom Micro Monster with the two spools arrived today. Unbelievably smooth, better than the Dark Wolf Ultra. Mm -mm, I don't believe it. Which kingdom are you talking about? Are you talking about the purple one? Let's see. I think is it that purple one I was talking about? Yeah, is this the one you're talking about? It's the same reel. It can't be better than a Dark Wolf Ultra. It's the same thing. It's the same thing! So I think this one he's talking about he got with the, what you call it. Which, it's very possible the one you've got is smoother than the Dark Wolf Ultra you've got. But it doesn't necessarily mean that it, uh, overall, all those reels are smoother than all the others. Because, trust me, it could be just quality control. Because my Dark Wolf Ultra, well, all of them that I've had, I've got, uh, I've had two of the Black Knight 2s, this Dark Wolf Ultra, and they're all crazy smooth. Like, I, I don't think you could get any smoother. I don't know how you would call it smoother on another reel. Because it's smooth, now, it's not as smooth as... Uh, 
Calcutta Conquest or my Zillion, it is smoother, way smoother than all the Baron BFS I had. I'll tell you that much for sure. Pow, look at that. Get it. I just wonder how to cast the real light stuff compared to your uh, Dark Wolf Altar is the only question I would have. Harley Friedman. He couldn't find a Dark Wolf Altar right hand on sale. Yeah, what I'm saying though is if you go to go to the cheapest place you can find it on uh, because you don't have to buy it. Just because you click buy now, it'll take you and show you your total and then you can back out. You don't have to like buy right then and there. It's not like uh, it's not like uh, this site's not like eBay where you commit to buy kind of thing, purchase like you can click that and it'll want to take you how you're going to pay and then you can just get out but on mine like when i put this uh you know how on your phone you'll have like the little button and then it, it's got your total to bottom when i click on that it shows it uh oh, i just now hit me what else i need to tell you guys about oh my god i'm gonna slip my mind but on this one i think it's this site but just go to you know dark wolf altar and one of them that's $72, when you actually click on it and get it in your cart to buy, it jumps down to $65, which is only like three or four dollars cheaper than the 60, or actually it's cheaper than the $67 one, but it, it's only a couple dollars more expensive than the what the $67 one even drops down to once you put it in the cart. So everything's a touch cheaper. Like if you guys remember uh Tactical Bassin and Real Test will tell you a lot of that Tackle Warehouse stuff is it's still even cheaper once you get it in the cart and look at it because that's AliExpress is very weird about that how they do this stuff and each store is a little different how they do it I guess but I almost totally forgot what I was going to tell you guys somebody here is going to want to buy this it says that free spools better than Alder Baron 22 the pink uh, two spool kingdom one yeah, I mean, that, that thing looks good. I'm just, I'm staying away for now anyway. Just my personal opinion, the, uh, those fixed breaking, you know, like, the, I call them the Abu Garcia breaks. I'm just, at the moment, I've thought about getting the dial. Well, that's why I've got it in the cart, but it also has that style of breaking. Charles has one. I may actually have Charles let me use that one for like an hour one day and put a little video together, my thoughts on it. Because I've only cast it once or twice. It's awesome feeling real, but I've never really fished it but charles has it it's on sale right now i'll show you guys that too but hang on first thing somebody's gonna want to buy this rod i'm telling you you guys know which one i'm gonna put in do you do you tell me all right bam look at this this rod right here is unbelievably priced when i clicked on it I want to say it's sixty-five dollars because it, it's seventy-one. But once you click and it's free shipping, so I should buy one. I have mine though. That's what you guys were just looking at. The Dark Wolf Alter Zone, the Kain Tetan Six Six One. I really, I mean, I could use another one, but really, I mean, I use Snap, so I could always just, you know, that it's that quick to just throw whatever I want to on this one rod. I really. Now, it's hard for me to justify having two identical rods. Even though it's a one-piece, that's a two-piece. They should do the exact same thing. So, but if any of you guys, and I thought about just buying one and putting it up like it's a spare. That way, at some point in time, if I want to retire this this one, or for whatever reason, uh, I want to say, when I clicked on that on my phone, just like I told you I had to, I want to say it was 100 and one other thing I found out, like if I click on this and the Dark Wolf Ultra, they charge me more money in the checkout. If I click this or the Dark Wolf Ultra and I like I purchased it for $61, I could buy this one like for $65. But I put them together, or maybe this was even cheaper, but when I put them together in the cart, it jumped up like seven bucks. And I'm like, what is it doing? So I went ahead and just bought, bought the Dark Wolf Ultra, and I'm debating if I want to buy that one or not. So I could honestly 100% guarantee this one still is kind of the king of the all-around true, you know, not going into half-ounce baits, but like, say, quarter-ounce, and then all the way down into, before you get to Ultralight, out of the light BFS rods, all of them I've ever used, that is still king. 
the uh, Teton 661 or 2. The, that rod is just awesome. It's caught my personal best largemouth. I like the filling rod better right now, but the filling rod won't throw down as low as what that rod will. I typically throw a little higher, but for you guys, you know, the true BFS users, not the power BFS guys, it, uh, Teton still can't be beat. The filling is right there close. It's a better, it's definitely a better blank material, touch, uh, you know, uh, more sensitive and all that, but man, I'm telling you guys, I'm Teton's. They're hard to beat. The 522 SUL, it's so freaking crazy expensive for no bigger than that little rod is, but that's an awesome rod too. It is very hard to beat that rod for the littlest ultralight, or it's called super ultralight. It's hard to beat for that. I actually like it better than that rod that Charles likes, the green one. That's the 510S or whatever, or I don't know, whatever they call that. The one I sold to Charles that they got that Ace Hawk Venom kind of copying it. I like my 522 SUL, which is more expensive than the 661 or 2, or the 662. Back when I bought my 661, you could only get a, give 100 bucks. It was $100, and now you can't even get that one anymore. I should probably buy one and just put it, you know, up as a spare. But I've got this pistol I'm thinking about. I've got the, uh, I thought I saw them on here. I really, what I really need to do is I need to buy two of these, uh, oh yeah. Well, they're somewhere. I need to buy two of the contest rods, the sharp and the, uh, powerful. Will I do it? I don't know. Oh, there's a Kang Teton, the $144 one. And... Noisy. I'm doing a live stream. Yeah, I just came from the gym. I work out. My girlfriend's whistling at me. I think she's just trying to call me like you were a dog or something. I don't know. Anyway, let's get back to that's the one that's a rave. Uh oh, hang on. Let me read some of this here. That's what Joseph said. He loves that reel. He's in love with it. And a Harley Freedom says, thanks. Uh, HPs, don't forget the coupons available on certain stores. Yeah, I like the coupons, and I'm horrible about not getting all those. But I try to, every time, like, my phone will send me a, me a notification from AliExpress, I try to click get now kind of thing. <laughs> He's like, tune in at the wrong time. Thought you was ordering a Conan bikini. Don't think I don't already have one. I got a Speedo. Who wants to see me and Charles fishing in Speedos? I, probably nobody. What size snaps? I use all kinds of brew tank outdoors and I'm not giving any away in a giveaway. The possibility, I was thinking about brew tank outdoors when I had this pop into my head. There's a possibility I'm gonna have a giveaway. It is one of the funkiest giveaways you will ever have though, but I might give away my used Jackhammer chatterbaits. Just kind of to prove that I don't need or want jackhammer baits. I will never buy another, well, unless that's the only chatterbait ever available. You know what I mean? If it's like the, you know, you've heard that saying, not if you were the last man on earth. If the jackhammer chatterbaits were the last men on earth, I would buy those to use for chatterbait fishing. But I do not plan on buying any more. And I've kind of weeded out. I, I sold Charles all of my uh, actual... Uh, Z-Man chatterbaits. I'm going all AliExpress chatterbaits just uh, because they work and they're only $3.50. So I'll just get used to, you know, setting a hook to those. And I kind of struggle. You guys watch the last few videos. I'm kind of fine tuning, seeing what rods are light enough or too heavy and all that kind of stuff. So I may actually just give away the Jackhammer chatterbaits in a giveaway. I only have like four or five left, maybe. But, uh, I ain't doing it right now. I may do it. I may not. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. But those things were $15 a piece. And I want to say, even if I only have four, that's $60. You know how many of the $3.50 ones you can buy? A bunch. 20 So anyway, uh, be looking for it. If I decide to do that, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. I may just freaking throw them in the trash. You guys wouldn't believe me if I told you to throw them in the trash, though. Cause then I gotta pay, I gotta like do the shipping. I gotta like go through the, it's not even the paying the five or whatever dollars it'd be. Going through the 
hassle of packaging it up and shipping them. So anyway, what was I going to show you guys? That's what Brew Tank Outdoors. He's always like, you ain't getting nobody. So yeah, we're not getting a Conan bikini, but uh, I, I'm just going to click on this. I'm not buying this, but I've always thought I wanted this rod. This is the one I think you can... Comes with different ways, different things, like two different rods, I believe. You interchange out the handles or something, yeah. I've looked at that several times, but it's just too much money. There's the one that Real Test talked about. Silver needle. I just look how it looks like a big it looks like just a whole chunk of metal. Like I'm a cork guy for one thing. That just looks too slick and too not good for me, even if it did cast good and all that kind of stuff. So Hang on, what else was I going to talk about? 40 minutes in. The snaps, uh, I don't even know. I want to say, is it double or triple zero? I'll use the very, one of the, maybe not the very smallest ones you can get, but the next size up for like my ultralight BFS. And then I'll use a size or two up from that for my light, you know, anything like 10 pound test. Then I usually go pretty heavy, like with 15 pounds. And I always go over, like almost double what they're rated. Because if you go by their pound test rating, like you'll see one that's rated for 20 pounds. 10 pound test will not break before that snap will come straightened out normally. Like So you got to be careful on uh, when you're ordering snaps. And I've got a snap video. It's out there somewhere. I, I showed you guys the ones I bought. A snap unboxing. It's when one of the AliExpress unboxings, if you guys want to go back and try to find it. And see what snaps I ordered and so far it's been working out pretty good because these little the snaps I order you want to go back and look and find that video I'll just show you these in my hand they just because they're sitting right here those are I believe two different sizes I'm trying to hold like I want to say one's like a triple zero and one's like a double it is gonna be hard for you guys to see that let me just flip the phone down So either one of those I would use for any of my small stuff. But if I'm going only to the little creeks and streams with six pound test or smaller, I'm using the smallest little, like the, it's either double or triple zero. That little bitty dude. But like on my normal stuff, as far as lightweight, I'll use that. I will put that on 10 pound test, but you're, you, you, you know me, I run kind of lighter drags. But then I go the size up. To like, a, I want to say it's just zero. It's typically the one I use for the regular BFS, you know, light or all around BFS stuff. And then you go to like a one or two, something like that for the 15, you know, that once you get into the higher end. Okay, let's wrap this video up before we get too far into it. If you got any questions about it, uh, like I mentioned, that Ling Long, it's out there. The truth is out there. You just gotta find it. That's my homemade screwdriver. It was a straight screwdriver. I just made it better. What else? We're getting rid of that reel to Charles. Uh, that probably means, since I am selling this to Charles, right? I think what I'm gonna do, since I'm gonna get, uh, I've got such a good deal I got on the uh, Dark Wolf Ultra, I think I'm gonna buy another zillion. So I'm gonna have a zillion going around with 10 pound test on it, day in, day out. And then I'm gonna go to little creeks and streams. That's the one I'll slap in my little uh, chameleon spool. Then I'm gonna have another zillion with 15 pounds. So when I'm out fishing in my boat, I'm gonna have a 15 pound test, you know, on a more powerful rod, zillion working, and another zillion with just 10 pound for that little bit lighter stuff. Probably on either the quick or the sharp if I get it, or possibly the powerful or something or who knows what i don't know how powerful the powerful is i may turn the powerful if it's kind of a softer tip i may have it something like the tatula still throwing 10 pound test but longer bombing stuff with the uh with the zillion that's what i'm kind of looking at right at the moment so stay tuned though you never know i may change my mind i don't think i want this even though joseph says it's a good reel and these, that one's, I think you can find it a lot cheaper than that. 
I think it's 75 in some spot. But maybe not for that one. That may be just for the other one. Yeah, 75 to 80. Once you click from that, like, pink and go to the purple, the purple looks like a blue, but that's, I believe, a purple one. I don't know. It may be closer to a blue than the what the Black Knight 2 is. Come on, Ling Long. Last shot. This is kind of like when we try to catch a showstopper for the show. And if you guys, did you guys watch the latest video that dropped today? That was one awesome video. I, or that was, I don't know about what you guys think about the video. That was an awesome day. The first video, uh, I just called it, uh, you know, a bass fishing clinic, ch uh, chatter baits, and then bass, bass fishing clinic, uh, rattle traps because I, I went out and I just I couldn't like I didn't need to throw anything else I was just game on with chatterbaits and then when I got done I was like I'm gonna go back up and hit it again I thought with both but it'd be it's funny how there's a couple things I got from that it's weird but it's like I I made that pass through there with the chatterbaits and I pulled literally almost every fish out that would have hit a chatterbait I went right back up and came back down and you don't see the footage in the second video, the one I just dropped today. I was throwing a chatterbait occasionally. I could not get it to get hit. But it's like there were still fish there. They didn't want that chatterbait, but they would hit the rattle trap. I could have probably done the same thing, come through that spot with the rattle trap first, pulled out just what was in the mood for the rattle traps, and went right back through with chatterbait, and maybe even you know pulled other ones out that just wouldn't hit that. And if I would have really wanted to, I probably could have went back through there, slowed way down, and threw the worm. I didn't even throw, that's why I said stop and smell the soft plastic in today's video, because I'm like, I haven't even thrown this worm. I didn't need to. But I probably could have went back through again with soft plastic or something even slower, and I bet you I could have pulled more fish out. I just was kind of, I was kind of done, and I was kind of worn out, to be honest. I've, I hadn't been there that many hours, but it was game on, cast after cast, you know, when you're casting chatterbaits and rattle traps, kind of long, short, and catching quite a few fish, it can, you know, kind of wear you out fairly quick. And it's just, it was so windy, and, you know, the wind can wear you down also. And I had other stuff going on, but there is one more video coming out. Uh, I'm going to try to get it done tonight, and it'll be out tomorrow, I'm hoping. <laughs> but, and I'll give you a preview. Well, here's what happened. I was trying to make myself like the Strike King red eye shad i bought that one little quarter ounce red eye shad i already got rid of the other three quarter ounce white one in the deal to charles it only only charged him a dollar for it i don't know if he kept it or not but i bought that it just looks so cute that little quarter ounce chartreuse looking one i threw that thing and threw that thing and threw that thing i cannot make myself like it you know why because it won't catch any fish <laughs> that day and you saw how many fish i was catching on rattle traps that bait but here's what it did catch I threw it out and I snagged a fishing pole. And of all fishing poles I snagged, first of all, it was a spinning uh, rod and reel, and it was a ugly stick. I could not make out what the reel was. And if you've seen the footage, I just I just tossed the reel back in the water. It was junk. It was like rusted out, falling apart. But you know, an ugly stick, Shakespeare ugly stick, it was still fine. Uh, so what did I do? I proceeded to clean it off and fished with it. So this video is me me finding it, cleaning it, and stay tuned. Watch out for what reel I put on that and tried to catch a fish. And stay tuned to see if I caught a fish on that fishing rod, Shakespeare ugly stick, resurrected from the dead like a phoenix rising out of the ashes, except it's water, so it's impossible it would have been on fire. But anyway, stay tuned. All right, I'm going to get out of here with that. If you got any other questions, I'm telling you, there's a good, nice sale going on right now. Get on AliExpress, do your own little search, and look for the Ling Long. If you find some other stuff that described as Ling Long but isn't fishing reel, I'm sorry. Anyway, i got to go. Thanks for watching, guys. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Joseph won't stop talking to me. Bought it for $73. He said he got it. He, Joseph is just trying to make it look like he's better than me. He says he caught... Or caught. He bought a Dark Wolf Ultra for $57 today. I tell you what, I bet AliExpress likes Joseph better than me. Anyway, guys, get out of here. Go bass and bonsai. But yeah, mine was only 61 bucks, And I got it, and then now the the only other ones I can find, it says 72 but once I click on it, it's 65 So look for those guys if you guys want a Dark Wolf Ultra. And stay tuned for when I get mine in, and you guys will be able to see if... Uh, 
the uh, spring deal is legit or not, or if they are coming in all screwy. So go have fun. I'm gone.